Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Uh, up for sale is uh, a pop-up uh, Rockwood Freedom Model 2460G, and uh, it's got the King bump out at one end, a Queen bump out at the other. Also has one slide out. Moving in a little closer, you can see the awning up top. I think that's uh, I think it's 18 foot. Comes out. Um, got the uh, gas grill that's wired or not wired but it's a uh, it's plumbed into the uh, propane that's uh, fueling the uh, inside it's got a prep table uh, put new carpet on the outside step nice added feature uh, outside door has a solid door and also has sliders that you can slide up and down to uh, allow air to come through screened screened in area I have the screen actually open at this point just to give everybody an idea of what it looks like um, here on this side storage compartment it uh, Usually I put all my hoses and electrical wires and supplies, stuff like that in there. There's also a door on the inside so you can access this from the inside. All right, moving on around, I added uh, a second propane tank here at, underneath. Uh, came with one. I uh, felt necessary to have a second one just as a backup. You know, one runs out, switch over to the other, then go fill the empty one. Um, it has a uh, deep cycle or deep cell battery for uh, backup. Uh, nice feature for this one in here. It's an upgraded feature. It's a power roof lift. Uh, this is this model here. You don't have to hand crank the roof. Um, there is a backup for emergency cases where you can crank it by hand. But this one actually has a power up and down. You just lift the roof up. Very, very easy. Very convenient. Back up a little bit here. You can see the slide out in the dinette area. It's a U-shaped dinette on the inside. I'll get to the inside in a moment. Moving on around. Uh, this is where all your supplies come in your electric your fresh water uh, cable hookup right here on the top um, outside shower nice feature for rinsing your feet off or maybe take a pet with you you can wash the wash your pet i'm moving on around hot water heater we'll open this real quick for you take a quick look uh, six gallon hot water heater uh, it's gas it's got a uh, electric uh, it's called direct spark ignition so as soon as you flip the switch on for hot water uh, if the thermostat doesn't detect hot water, it will kick on automatically and heat up your hot water. Like I said, again, it's six gallons. Another storage compartment here. Underneath the uh, the bench seat, you can access this from the inside. There's a door at the other end uh, or the outside here. And also, if you take the top cushion off of one of the seats, there's a big opening to, to put your blankets. I, I, was, I was using blankets and sheets and stuff like that in there. Uh, moving on around, this has a cassette toilet. Uh, we only used it to uh, for nighttime with our small kids to to pee in for emergency cases. Other than that, it was very seldomly used, but very easy to use. You just lift up and it slides right out. And you can dump that at any any station. Um, nice feature to have. And just real quick, it's got a spare tire. Uh, and then this is the back angle. I'll go out a little bit here. All right, let me move on to the inside. So I can make sure I get all these features. <coughs> Excuse me. Feel free if you have any questions, give me a, an email or a, a call. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. I got some of the lights on just to give you an idea what they all look like on. I didn't, I have LED strip on the outside. They can change all the colors. I don't have those on at the time, um, but they do work. All right, stepping in, this is the king side. It's got a quilted king mattress, heated. It's got a thermostat, we plug it in, and it uh, has six settings, six different temperature settings. Uh, storage here uh, on top. Storage compartment down here. Try to get down in there and get you an idea what it looks like here. Here's a pocket on the door. Um, opposite to that is the uh, fire extinguisher and your thermostat for your heat. And uh, from the inside, here's the door. Um, here's the access storage here for your hoses. Like I said, you can put other things in there, but you do have access from, from the inside as well as the outside. I added this feature. These are bunk end. They're called bunk end fan light combo. They plug into a uh, roof light. Very easy to use. They just clip on that rod that goes out to support the top of the pop-up. Uh, it's a nice feature to have circulating air. Maybe like the fan blowing on you at night times. It's kind of a nice feature. Um, the opposite end here, here's your heat, your uh, fuse panel, or breaker panel, uh, you, you have a GFI plug, your cable inlet, and then you have your switches for your hot water heater. Turn that on and off 
flip that on. You see how it lights up. Flip off. I don't want to leave it on. Uh, there's no water in it, so I just want to give you an idea what it looks like right now. It's winterized. Uh, with the green low flashing light, that's the uh, carbon oxide detector slash smoke detector. Uh, there's also a smoke detector on the, on the ceiling as well. Uh, I'm going to lean up against the edge of this king side just so you can get an idea of the spaciousness and how far the distance is from one end to the other. Um, here's the U-shaped dinettes table. Um, it's got the it's a bump out there. So you can, Fit, fit, uh, I had a family of four, two kids and my wife and I, and we fit comfortably at this table playing cards, watching movies, um, eating when the weather wasn't nice to be outside. Uh, we'd just come on inside. Um, opposite of the table is the uh, another cabinet, more storage. Uh, there's a microwave. Uh, I did purchase that. I'm going to leave it with this unit. Um, I just used it mainly to maybe heat up a few leftovers here and there. Popcorn at nighttime for the kids, but very rarely used it at all. Uh, here's another storage compartment. Uh, that that black thing in there is the wheel well on the one side. It takes up a little bit of the space, but there's still plenty of room. I used it for pots and pans, uh, paper towels, different things like that. But it's a good size, good size cubby there. Um, off to the side of that is drawer space, utensils, things like that. There's already an organizer in there. Moving down is a three burner. Um, it's hooked directly to the, the grill outside. And the propane takes up front and the heat and the refrigerator. Uh, the refrigerator on this is a three-way refrigerator. You can use it for gas, electric, or the battery. Um, that's the auxiliary battery up front. But uh, a hot and cold water sink. Underneath the sink, there's a, another panel. Plenty of space under there for sponges, rags, towels, different things like that. There's another drawer on this side. So a cubby here holds different odds and ends spatulas and things that we used it for here's the uh matching the wood matching refrigerator it's a dometic um and it is just a refrigerator but it was kind of nice to have in, the, in a pop-up just to put your condiments maybe a few things for nighttime your milk and your eggs things you don't want to get wet in your cooler uh, you can bring in here once you get camping and and uh, get it out out of the cooler from getting soggy or wet inside the cooler um opposite the uh, kitchen area is another storage we used it for towels and washcloths, stuff like that for the bathhouse. Uh, like I said, we very rarely use this cassette toilet shower combo. Um, I'm going to open it up now. It has a lid, so if you don't want it, you can just use the lid for storage. But you just fold the lid up. And I'm going to move back a little bit. You can kind of see the toilet there and the shower combo. Um, there's two curtains. I'm going to move to this side a little bit. There's two curtains here. These white curtains here. There's an inner curtain that velcros to the top of the tub. And then there's an outer curtain. It's like a changing curtain that goes all the way around you. You can see the metal track on the roof. One's a lot bigger, so you can get the change back here, a little privacy. Um, I'll open this toilet up. Um, it's nice and clean. There's a little bit of a blue rinse agent in there. If you hit this blue button here, uh, to go to flush it, it puts this blue uh, biodegradable stuff in there plus it it helps with the smell or any odor that might be there but it helps rinse it and so forth and a little flush knob but like i said this is a nice feature to have especially if you just you and your close family to be able to use it, especially with small kids or even a pet if you have a dog or something i'm gonna go ahead and close the lid here on this we mainly used it just to store on top we hardly ever used it at nighttime for emergency cases like i said earlier for the kids to be able to have somewhere to go pee without having to run to the bathhouse um, this bunk in, this is the queen's, the queen side. This is on the kitchen side. Um, this is where my wife and I mostly stayed on the queen side. It's the same thing, quilt at the top, um, six setting, uh, heat for winter time or cool season, um, to have, have your heated mattress is a nice feature. Um, I didn't use it very often, to be honest with you, the propane heater that's in here cooks me out. Um, it gets really, really hot. Um, let me show you the other feature we have on the roof. Uh, it's an air conditioning. It's a uh, 13,500 BTU, which cools this space very well, even in the bright and dead of sun. Um, there's a thermostat. It's gonna be real hard to see, but it's high-low setting for your air conditioning. You can put on just fan cycles so to circulate the air. And also, I added um, Coleman makes it. It's a heat strip, almost like a uh, in your house. There's a heat strip that you can put on heat and it'll blow out across that and help with circulating hot air along with the propane heater. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to me. Thank you.